Hello folks, welcome back. Thanks for watching my previous video and for all your support. So following my aquarium project series, in this video I'm going to explain to you all a little bit more about my brief experiment with aquaponics. Well to begin with, I'm not an expert in aquaponics, right? Um, this is just a simple experiment that I tried and I'm just going to share with you all what worked and what did not work. So let's get rolling. So I had this random lid which had holes underneath, uh, sort of you know creating a space where water can actually flow. Um, so it kind of you know fitted perfectly on top of the aquarium. So as you can see, there is good flow of water from one end to another, and uh, also a space that can actually hold a medium. So this was quite kind of you know quite handy. So I decided this might be a, a good starting point to experiment. So reading online, I was told that these clay pellets are quite good uh, medium for aquaponics. So I decided to order one and try my luck. So those of you all who are trying to get ahead around what's really going on here. Basically, aquaponics is a concept where plants can be grown without soil. So they don't really need the soil and everything that they need for their growth comes through water and they absorb this through their roots, which is uh, kind of, you know, submerged in water. Um, there is, there's a lot of, you know, uh, concepts behind it, but uh, to keep things simple, uh, what I'm going to show you now is this particular clay pellet. So basically these clay pellets do not really have anything as nutrition in them. It is just a holding medium for the plants. So the plants are going to be really growing on the nutrition that is coming from the water. Interesting, isn't it? So I used the smaller sized clay pellets and I put them inside these plastic containers and I also used a cotton uh, wool cloth to hold the clay pellets and then I put them into the water. So basically these clay pellets actually absorb the water and they bring it to the surface and I put a couple of seeds on the top and then with time here is the magic. I also tried my luck with uh, another type of plant. This is the pennywort and this also grew very well and but again just for your information pennywort also grows well in water as well so um, I'm not really sure if this is the perfect example but from my perspective it did it did try very well so what's working in the system is that it's it's neat and it's clean so basically these pellets seems to be a good medium for the plants to grow and the plants getting the nutrition from the aquarium water seems to be very straightforward and do bear in mind there are plants inside the aquarium tank as well and also the fish population that i have is quite small and the amount of waste that they are producing in comparison to these plants requirements is going to be quite minimal isn't it so um i also tried with a few more plants including one particular spinach and i also spread out a few seeds across the entire pellets to see how they are growing and interestingly most of the seeds germinated um, this time I didn't even put anything like a cotton wool or anything it was just straight on the pellets so the pellets are always moist so they actually you know take in the water from the bottom all the way to the surface so and there's plenty of air pockets in between these particular clay pellets so also allowing more oxygen for the roots so this is where I decided to take it to the next level and try the experiment in a different way so I found a spot for my aquarium tub put aquarium water inside yes that's basically used fish tank water so the plan here is to add fish tank water regularly every week and of course you know remove used fish tank water from this particular tub. so water goes in and water goes out every week so this is very similar to starting up a new tank so obviously uh, uh, even though I used used fish tank water to make the system more efficient I also add this um, uh, culture media microorganisms that required to kickstart an aquarium it will be ideal if I have fishes inside and that would actually help the system but I didn't want to take a risk. So the mindset here was let's just try it without the fish. So one way or the other I'm still using aquarium water. The water from my aquariums are actually going inside this so there is still nutrition there that the plant can actually utilize. Another most important uh, thing for this particular um, experiment is, is using an air pump aeration is very important for this we really need to focus on aerobic bacteria 
so aeration you're using an air pump is very important so i decided to use the plants from the initial setup some of them have actually recently sprouted so definitely worth giving it a shot so i just put the right size clay pellets into the containers and then take the plants out and put them inside For smaller plants, sometimes it's better to use a cotton wool just to hold them in place. Remember, as long as there is air to breathe, this system should work. So that's the whole idea of aquaponics or hydroponics. There, is, there should not be any suffocation for the roots. So as long as we create the spaces in such a way that there is going to be good flow of air, this system should work perfectly. For the pennywood, I decided to put this in my balcony garden, so I decided to remove this. So this whole setup is set is inside a room, but it has light that comes in through a window. So as you can see, uh, this is right next to my balcony. And I, at that particular time, I made a conscious decision of, you know, setting this inside the room because I do have a balcony garden, which of course I'll do a separate video again uh, later down the line. But um, I really want to test out the performance or, you know, how the plants are, you know, progressing in this setup with, with this kind of light and see how things progress. Um, and second thing, I was also not sure about this particular aeration. Um, it's, it's quite minimal, but let's try it out, yeah? That was the mindset. So here's the setup. So since this is an experiment, on one side, I've just wanted to use the entire tray with clay pellets and put uh, seeds inside that to see how plants are growing. And, to be really honest, what really happened was the plants were not really growing that well and um, I came into the conclusion that it was the light. So the light that came inside the room was not really enough. And usually for aquaponics setup, people do put artificial LEDs uh, mounted on the top so that at least the plants can grow straight. So what I eventually noticed was the plants were trying to face the window but the growth wasn't really enough. So as planned. I decided to move the entire project to the balcony and then give it give it a shot there. Another alternative option was to buy growing LEDs and install it, but um, let me let me keep that as phase three for now. Let me try the balcony method and see how these plants are growing. And uh, yes, and as you can see, here you go. The results was quite strong. Uh, the plants actually grew well. Some of the plants already had a hit. Uh, when they were inside so they did not really grow but uh, the seeds that I sprayed out on the uh, tray they grew really well most of them tomato plants uh, and one spinach um, so I was quite happy with the progress and I also took it to the next level by placing one of the tomato plants directly into my uh, balcony aquarium so which which you can see here um, I don't really have enough footage for this balcony aquarium, but most of the footage will be, you know, part of my balcony garden videos. So I will explain more about this, but this is a snapshot of my um, balcony aquarium and video coming soon. So it's a mix of aquaponics and hydroponics experiment. And I later decided to just to go with the aquarium setup, more easy to maintain and it works better with fishers. As always, thanks for watching the video guys. Look forward for my next video. Till then, take care, stay safe, cheers.